Summer's slowly working its way back into the northeast here, and that means one thing. Time to cut the grass. But before we start, let's get some lawnmower maintenance done on this thing. Change the oil, grease it up, make sure she's ready for the season. Let's go ahead and tackle that project now. This lawnmower has a really cool drain plug feature. Uh, it doesn't have a standard plug. It actually has this little mechanism that you can uh, just turn a quarter turn, give it a pull, and uh, oil drains right out of it. Um, so uh, I really like this design. Um, if yours has this, it's going to make it an easy job. First thing I like to do is pull the old dipstick and wipe it down. Then we'll just set it on top here, keep it out of the way. You want to pick up yourself a piece of tubing for this particular drain plug um, and just snap that over the end. Now before I, uh, before I started all this, I ran the lawnmower for five minutes or so just to get the engine oils uh, warmed up and uh, it might be able to flow a little bit easier. Then I've got myself a plastic jug. This is an old windshield washer jug. Um, let's just stick the hose right in the end of that. Give this thing a quarter turn and pull out and as you can see, um, the oil is starting to drain out nicely. Well, it looks like it's pretty much drained out here. Um, so what we're going to do is give it a push in, quarter turn to close it up, pull off our little uh, hose material, put the cap back on, and we're all set to add oil. Some people pour the oil right directly into the, uh, the, the filler hole here, which would be fine. Um, but I don't trust my shaky old hands being the old guy um, So I use a funnel and I like to make sure that I clean this out um, It's probably like you. I've got it kicking around the garage um, Could collect some dust. We don't want that contaminant getting down into the engine So uh, now we're gonna add some oil my particular engine takes 48 ounces of oil So what I'm gonna do is add a quart first and then I'm gonna slowly add the remaining oil um, And keep checking it with the dipstick to make sure that I don't overfill so let's get that first course started. There we go. That uh, just about finishes the first court. Let's take a look on the old dipstick and see how she's doing. right up to about the add mark. So I'm going to throw a little bit more in there and see how that works. Okay, I've used about, I'm going to say about 12 ounces out of that second one. And now we'll go and dip the old dipstick in there and check it out. And we are right on the mark. Perfect, so we are done filling up our oil. I just thought I'd mention that uh, they do have an oil filter. Um, now I'm sure I'm gonna get some haters on this one, but uh, I usually change this oil filter every other year, every other season, or every other time I change my oil. Uh, I've had this lawnmower since, oh my goodness, 2005 I think. Um, so it's 12 years old, done it this way every year. Um, and so it hasn't, hasn't failed me yet. Um, so um, if you decide that you're gonna change the oil, it's pretty easy. Obviously we'll be doing this after we drain the oil out of it rather than after we put the new oil in. Um, but it's real easy, just spin it off, spin it back on and you would be all set. My lawnmower has a cast iron front end and uh, has a couple Zerk fittings here for greasing it. Um, so what I like to do is uh, hook the old grease gun up to them and give it a drink of grease. Give it a few pumps, um, doesn't take a whole lot, and then move on to the other side. Well that pretty much wraps up spring maintenance on this old girl. Time to put her to work. If you liked this video and thought it was helpful, give me the old thumbs up. If you want to see other videos like this, hit the subscribe button. You have yourself a good summer. 